for us to remove our rear view mirror, there's a little hole on the back side. Now you can use a long pick here if that'll work for you. I'm gonna try and put ours in there. Wiggle that around. Now if you don't have a pick to do this here, we actually took a cotter pin. We bent over the end of it and grabbed that with a pair of pliers. And you can feed that up in there. And what you're doing is you're basically just releasing a spring clip on the back side of the mirror itself. Now next we have to remove the metal base for the glass. You wanna be super, super careful. You don't want to break your glass. So you can try with a pair of pliers and wiggle this around. If it doesn't come free, we're gonna use a small uh, heat source, a little mini propane. And what we're gonna do is you heat up the metal itself. This will soften the glue on the back side. And then we can go ahead and pull this off of the glass. Next, what we wanna do is remove our glue. I tend to just use a little bit of glass cleaner and use a new razor blade and just gently work that adhesive off of the glass. The glass cleaner works as a lubricant on the glass between your blade. You see that peeling off nice. And give it another spray with the glass cleaner. I want to make sure that is clear and ready for our next component for installation. Now in some cases if you want to you can use a crayon on the outside of the glass and you can actually mark where the original base was with a crayon. That way there when you remove the base to that mirror you know where it's at. We have a general idea where ours was located, but you can mark the outside of the glass and that way there when you're all done, you can go ahead and clean the outside and you'll be all set. And when you get your mirror, use your Phillips head screw driver, loosen the screw on the back. This will allow our metal back to come out, which is our mount. slide them out. I want to make sure that it's facing the correct way. So when installing the glass, it's going to have the groove that fits into the mirror. So the small side of this here is the part that attaches to the glass. I want to use an alcohol swab. Clean the metal backing. Clean the glass. Let those components air dry. Now we're going to take our adhesive and want to cut this open. You can use your scissors or whatever you have. I'm going to take that mirror base and we're going to apply the adhesive to the mirror base. Once this is on here, I'm going to apply this to where our mirror is going to be. Line that up and you want to press it and hold it for a minute. After that minute is up, you want to wait about 30 minutes before installing your actual mirror to the base. Let's go ahead and line up our mirror. Slide that down into place. There is a Phillips head screw on the back, slide that down, and then you can go ahead and tighten up that screw, lock that mirror into place. Once that's all set, you can go ahead and adjust your mirror into place. 